I invite you to join me, to participate in this inquiry into the miracle of ourselves, to become part of the psychic connection. One love, what's up YouTube, Naim here. Wanted to make an update on the remote viewing October 2020 experiment. Uh, in September, on September 22nd, 2020, I uploaded uh, a remote viewing session with data targeting uh, major news stories of October 2020. Um, I want to bring your attention back to my session in regards to the major news event that just broke the other day. It's still developing, but uh, it's definitely a biggie, second to uh, Trump having COVID-19. Uh, this is uh, Storm Alex here on the BBC News. Storm Alex floods and landslides hit France and Italy. Um, at least two people have died and up to 20 are still missing after a powerful storm hit southeastern France and northwestern Italy. Uh, named Alex, the storm brought fierce winds and torrential rain. A number of villages north of Nice in France suffered serious damage um, from floods and landslides with roads, bridges, and homes destroyed. In northwestern Italy, flooding was described as historic. A section of a bridge over the Sicilia River collapsed. So, um, pretty big uh, event here. So you can check out the link in the description to the story to get more details, but essentially this was uh, like a lot of rain, like m as much rain that they would expect in like four months came in like one day or something like that. So uh, um, shout out to uh, the Pequino for um, putting me onto the story. He actually caught it before I did. Um, but now it's uh, broken on pretty much all news, major news outlets. Um, I want to bring you back to my session. The uh, land one on my uh, session, you can check, get the download. Uh, you can check out my video, uh, remote viewing October 2020, the data, or check out my website, the feedback loop. Feedback loop. Info. But uh, I'll go over it very quickly here. Um, uh, I had, uh, for my land one, I had mostly green vegetation, hilly veg, um, hilly land. Uh, felt mostly natural, but somewhat urban, so I had a sense of some uh, structures, urban type activity going on here. Um, I had the swath cut through it, um, particulate, wet textures, um, and the, the the main sense I got here was uh, something feels like almost like off limit. Something coercive happens that causes uh, something to separate. Like there's a separate or a divide or a part, um, a part that happens. And um, down here, you can see I had flood in my AOL over the signal, um, decay and destroy, sense of panic, a tense moment. Um, so you can look at the land there uh, that's what's happening there in Italy and you can see it's mostly green hilly vegetation structures dispersed within there um, bridges and roads were cut off certain areas were uh, inaccessible uh, due to the flooding and you know that's what I had here with this part separate divide off limit um, type idea with the AOL of the flood kind of nagging at me there um, so that was a interesting one there. Moving on to my water, my water one. Now this was a, this was an interesting gestalt because if you go back to my um, my Nemo Playfair here, this last row, my last um, my last row here. This is actually where I. Um, got my water three gestalt. So I saw a narrow area and I got a sense of hissing and flowing, muddy and wet, slushy wet mud uh, is what I wrote there. And when I isolated this gestalt to look at it here, uh, this was what I saw. So um, let's get this stuff out of the way. Um, 
So I had a sense of uh, water spilling over, filling, splashing, uh, overflowing collapse with this, some kind of structure, man-made structure here with the water spilling um, with an overflowing collapse, a sense of downfall and downpour. And this was a clear visual that I had of a uh, sense of flowing water knocks things over on the way. And I drew these trees and things getting knocked over with this flow of water. Um, probing for more data here at the bottom with the spill and overflow, I got a sense of torrential downpour. And if you reference back to the article, it's the main cause here. I did have a sense of storms. Storm season was my AI. And my AOLS here, you can see I wrote storms. So this is Storm Alex. Uh, so that was an interesting take there. Um, there's some video clips and things I'll put in here so you can see uh, the action that's going on there. Um, these ones don't seem to be related. Uh, the life. Now, with the life, uh, they said, you know, there's some people that got swept away. There's many people still missing. Um, it's an ongoing thing. There's some search and rescue efforts going on. Um, here I had, you know, person submerged in the water, hands out, yelling, nasty water. You can see the, the nature of the water there. Um, fear, scared, devastated. Down here on the bottom, I have rescue, search and rescue. Um, so, you know, there's a couple search and rescue efforts going on in relation to this uh, story, again, with the overflow. And my final visual that I feel is uh, associated with the same event is um, this one here. Rescue reminds me of a flash flood, I wrote. Uh, one person reaching out to another in the water, things floating by, I wrote. Um, but even though I had a sense of rescue, I also had a sense of drowning here. I said I have, a, I have an experience of flailing in the water, a sense of struggling to breathe and drowning uh, below the surface of water, reaching upwards for help. Uh, and, you know, there were people who uh, died as a result of this. And, um, you know, the story's still developing. So um, that's my data there on... Uh, for that news story. Um, hopefully uh, that was interesting. Let me know what y'all think in the uh, comment section below. There'll be links to the articles. Uh, here's some comparisons to my sketches and a bunch of the data points. You know, the torrential downpour, uh, structure collapse, overflow, um, off-limit uh, divide, um, search and rescue efforts, uh, you know, things like this, drowning, uh, search and rescue, um, the mud, the water, knocking things over. Let me know what you guys think in the description, um, uh, in the comments, sorry, in terms of uh, what does this mean uh, in terms of remote viewing, time, uh, you know, this is what uh, this experiment is really about. Um, Check out my website, www.thefeedbackloop.info, if you want to learn more about remote viewing and uh, keep updated with this experiment and other things that I have going on. So, um, uh, thanks for watching, y'all. Oh, yeah, shout out to Dick Algar, one of my mentors, for uh, using remote viewing over at Crypto Viewing to uh, predict that Donald Trump would test positive for COVID-19 this month. That's also a very big news story. So um, one love, y'all. Thanks for watching.